Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the film The Lord of the Rings. I will start this video by giving a brief introduction about the plot and the general features of the film and then I will include the question of the agenda. So, The Lord of the Rings is a fantasy novel created by British writer, profession, professor and philologist Tolkien. It was written between 1937 and 1949, uh, with many parts created during World War II. Although Tolkien planned the, to perform in, it in a single volume, uh, it was originally published in three volumes. The plot of The Lord of the Ring was transformed in, into three films. The Lord of the Ring, The Society of the Ring, produced in 2001, uh, The Two Towers, produced in 2002, and The Return of the King, produced in 2003. Uh, the trilogy uh, were big blockbusters and critics. The, the three managed to, to reach a place among the 15 most viewed of all times and together they collect to 2.9 billion dollars in, in action to 17 Oscar awards in, for a total of 30 nominations. In action, the film was directed by Peter Jackson. Regarding the, the first question of the agenda, in the film there is the presence of the concept of eucatastrophe, created by Tolkien. The term eucatastrophe originates from the word catastrophe, but there is the prefix eu, which in Greek means good. In this way, it's possible to conclude that a eucatastrophe is a good catastrophe. Uh, that is a uh, happy ending. When, when the worst is happening, uh, when the, the situation is bad, when everything seems desperate, something relieving happens. Uh, this is a catastrophe. There is a, there is a phrase from Tolkien that translate, translator, well, what is the tamer? Uh, I would say, I would say that tragedy is the, the, true, the true form of the drama, it's haggis function, but the opposite is true in fairy tales. Since apparently we, we don't have a word that expresses this opposite, I will call it eucatastrophe. The short, the short story eucatastrophe is, is the true form of the fairy tale and its highest function. This concept con contradicts another term created by Tolkien, this catastrophe, which means a, a bad catastrophe. At the end of the third films in the trilogy, Frodo stands before the, the mouth of, of Don to destroy the, the One Ring, but at the last moment he, he, can't, he can't get read uh, of the ring and picks it up. These scenes can be classi classified uh, as a this catastrophe. Later, Gollum appears and starts fighting with Frodo to get the one ring, but Gollum in the middle of the conflict falls along the, the pressures of the, the cliff and dies in the, in the, in the lava. So, uh, so everything is resolved. This can be classified as a catastrophe because something unexpected occurred that originated as a happy ending. Regarding the second question of the agenda, according, according to Father Paulo Ricardo, the, the, work, the work The Lord of the, the Rings is a book that has Catholic characteristics and can be used to understand how a Catholic, uh, how Catholic environment works. Then the, the theme of the books is not ex explicit about God, but leads us to, to the fight against evil in which God is present. Even at no point does the Stoken speak of God, the, the main character 
of the, the role starts is him. The work deals with a uh, functional uh, pre-Christian world in, world in which we are somehow being prepared for, for Christ. It's very interesting the, the part that the, the, the priest says that that why the characters can be illusion of the of of Jesus Christ, they can be a simple ca character from a function book. In in action, the concept of eu catastrophe present in the film has a relationship with the, the stars of of Jesus. Seen after the the death of Jesus in the in the cross. Everything some lost, the, the world was without the, the savior, and after and after three days, uh, he he rose from death. The Lord of the Rings has has this extraordinary ability to to lead us into the the apes to to get us out of of there. Uh, just a uh, Christian it does. Uh, finally, the trilogy of the Lord of the Rings is very extensive and full of the details that compose and incredible. And it's precisely the scenes told and details that, that make the star fantastic. The trilogy taught me that the details and allusion to, to real events experienced by mankind is the secret to a great narrative. Uh, so, the film uh, is very cool, good special effect, captivating the, the characters, has a um, ganging central store and full of fantastic landscapes. Really a cl classic of medieval fantasy.